Donald Trump also revived his feud, as you can hear, with that popular governor in one of the most critical battlegrounds in this election. My next guest says if Republicans lose Georgia, quote, it could be a very long night. Republican senator from South Carolina, Lindsey Graham, joins me now. Senator, I mean, talking about it being a very long night uh, come November 2024. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know you know Governor Kemp. Does attacking a popular Republican governor in a pivotal <laughs> swing state make political sense to you? Well, uh, here's what, no, not really, to be honest with you. Uh, governor Kemp's been a good governor. I thought President Trump was a great president. And, you know, Trump supported uh, Kemp's opponent in the primary, David Perdue, who's a good friend. Uh, Kemp won going away. Governor Kemp refused to support President Trump in the Republican presidential primary. That's behind us. I'm going to meet with the Governor Kemp tomorrow night in Atlanta. And I hope we can come out of this thing together. The best thing for Georgia is to defeat Kamala Harris. She is a disaster. Everything she's touched is turned to crap. So I am focused on beating her and making sure Trump gets another term. And the one state I will be watching above all others on election night is Georgia. So what do you plan to say to, to Governor Kemp? Because as you noted, it was to me, <laughs> Governor Kemp told me that he, he did not vote for Donald Trump in the primary. That he did he didn't yeah, write right. he didn't Which write anyone fine. in, but he did say he's gonna vote for Trump in November, <laughs> yet Trump is still attacking him. <laughs> well, here's what I would say. Uh, you said, Governor Kemp, you're gonna work to make sure Kamala Harris is not president. She cast the tie breaking vote on the Inflation Reduction Act. Schumer told us last year, if you'll vote for this two trillion dollar package, everything will be fine this summer. Well, everything's not fine. Uh, she was the last person in the room with President Biden before we withdrew from Afghanistan. She should never be in another room making a hard decision again. So I'm going to appeal to Governor Kemp and President Trump. Let's focus on coming together and winning Georgia. Georgia is there for the taking. Georgia Georgians are my neighbor. They're surfing. Uh, high High prices at the gas pump, at the grocery store. Crime is rampant all over this country. The Mideast is on fire. So we got so much in common. And the one thing I would say we have in common is that we all view the policy choices of Kamala Harris as an absolute disaster for this country at home and abroad. Yeah, well, well but, you know, Governor Kemp, one, Trump said the crime in Atlanta is out of control. In Georgia, he said it was a killing field. So homicides are actually down there. But he was blaming Kemp for yeah. that. But yeah. the message that you just laid out there... Yeah. Governor Kemp is a very conservative, popular Republican governor. He articulates a lot mm -hmm. of what you just said. So is that message more for, yeah. for him or for Donald Trump? I think, I think what we need to do is prosecute the case against Kamala Harris. Uh, we're reaping what they have sown for four years at home and abroad. The border's broken. She was the border czar. Enough fentanyl's come across the border on her watch to kill everybody in the world. Uh, inflation is up because we, we restricted oil and gas production here at home overregulate, overtax, overspend. Uh, in Israel, we gave the Ayatollah Biden did and Harris $80 billion of sanctions relief. Uh, when Trump left, they were selling 300,000 barrels of oil a day. Now it's 1.2 uh, million a day. That $80 billion is going in the war machine. So that's I what I would be talking about. But when you hear Donald Trump go after after Brian Kemp, as you just did there, I mean, he was calling him little Brian Kemp. Yeah. He said they don't want the vote to be honest, <laughs> in my opinion. They want us to lose yeah. the election. That's yeah. my opinion. No, I, I, yeah, I, I don't. You know, I, I, I think we're going to have a good, honest vote in Georgia. Uh, J.D. Vance said that we made changes in Georgia. Mail-in voting did hurt us. You know, COVID, that consent decree that Rassenberger entered into with Stacey Abrams, didn't make any sense to me, but I certified the election results in 2020. And here's what I think about 2024. I think it is our election to lose. David Axel Axelrod is right. It really is President Trump's election to lose. People are hurting at home. Uh, and they're hurting domestically. The world is on fire. Inflation, uh, a broken border. Things are not going well here. And Kamala Harris, everything she's touched is really just just turned to crap, for lack of a better way to say it. And she's never going to fix anything. Yeah, if she picks Sh Shapiro, I'm sure he's a great guy. You're making that but argument he, against he's not her, change policy. her policies. But, but when Donald Trump comes to Georgia, a state that he needs to win, and he's going after yeah. Marty Kemp, Governor Kemp's wife, because she didn't vote for Donald Trump. He tried to get her husband fired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you talked about David Perdue. He tried to, yeah, yeah, to yeah. get Kemp fired and said yeah, his career yeah, would go right. down in flames. I yeah. mean, is that helping Republicans <laughs> win Georgia? No. No, I, I think the best way to win Georgia is for 
uh, Governor Kemp to align with President Trump, take his ground game and give it to President Trump, focus on the dangers of a uh, uh, Harris presidency. Again, we're reaping what's been sown for four years. We've got to stop these policies. They're killing us at home and abroad. So I expect, and I'll talk to Governor Kemp tomorrow, and I'll let you know how it goes. I hope we're united in Georgia. We can't afford to lose. The best thing for Georgia, if you love Georgia, and I live in South Carolina, and I love my friends in Georgia. The best thing for Georgia is for Donald Trump to be president of the United States and fire Kamala Harris. But don't you think you should talk to Donald Trump and not Brian Kemp? Because it seems like this is all coming from <laughs> Trump. I talked to both of them. I, I talked. So, so you know, he, he's obviously upset that, that Kemp didn't support him. Kemp was upset that he supported his opponent. I get that. That happens in both parties. But we have a historic opportunity as Republicans to win the White House, the Senate, and the House. And let's take advantage of it. And God knows our country needs to change direction. There is no hope for this country if she gets to be president of the United States. She's proven time and time again she has bad judgment well, on things that really matter to the average person. Senator, so that's an interesting, let's get united in Georgia and everywhere else. It's an interesting point you make there because... Obviously, you don't agree with, with Vice President Harris or the Biden-Harris policies. Uh, no one's surprised by that. You're right, a Republican governor from South Carolina. But I'm right. listening to you. Every time I ask you about what Trump has said about Kemp, you're talking about Harris and her policies. Senator Tom Cotton did the same last week when we were talking about what Trump has said, questioning, you know, when Harris turned black, as he put it. He kept turning back to her policies. But, but why are you and Tom Cotton doing that, but, well, but not very, the top I'm of the ticket, no, Donald very, Trump? Uh, I, why is why is your candidate yeah, not I'm doing very that? direct. Well, I hope he will. I, I hope that what what we'll have after this is all said and done is some unity in Georgia that's lacking right now. It's not in anybody's interest for us to lose Georgia. President Trump has a historic opportunity to change the course of the nation and the world at large. I think he's the right solution to the problems that we face at home and abroad, but you got to win Georgia. The best way to win Georgia is for Trump and Kemp to kind of bury the hatchet and move forward. I'm going to talk to him tomorrow night. I'm going to do my part to see if we can get everybody back together and focus on the real enemy here. And the real enemy politically, our political enemy, not our personal enemy, are the policy choices of an out-of-control liberal uh, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. We, we got to end this madness. America close, can't stand this for more years. You're a close confidant of Donald Trump's. You know, you flew with him uh, to the Republican convention right after yeah. his attempted assassination. Why do you yeah. think he has struggled to now that Harris is at the top of the ticket? You had said it would be a drastically, dramatically different race. Why do you think he, these mm -hmm. last two weeks have been so difficult for him as, as he's been up against her? So so I think what you're going to see here is that now she is going to be the nominee. We know that for sure. Uh, I think you're going to see a very focused Donald Trump and a Republican effort from from everybody to focus on the policy choices she's made in the future, she would make uh, in the past and she would make in the future. I hope that comes. I think that's coming. I, I, I know this. I've talked to President Trump a lot. He's worried about the future of our country. He believes he's the best guy to fix the problems we have at home and abroad. And to do that, you got to win. you got to win Georgia. So I am hopeful. Our problems are personality. Their problems are policy choices that are hurting the average American and set the world on fire. If we can get our personality problems fixed, we'll win this election because their policies are never going to be fixed by them. They'll never change course. I don't know who she's going to pick pick for vice president, but they won't do a damn thing different than she's doing.